YouTube is literally the best platform to generate more leads for your business. And it's simpler than you think, but most business owners, they actually do this the wrong way. My name is Money Maxing. I made about 47K through my YouTube channel, through my high ticket service. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I do to do this with the least amount of brain energy, effort, and just mental power needed because it really doesn't need to be this complicated. So what you're gonna learn in today's video is how to easily pump out content one to two times per week without taking time away from your own business. And number two, the best content to make that attracts you high quality leads. And number three, how to find content that actually resonates with your ideal client profile. And these are just really fucking simple. So I'm just gonna bang them out real quick so you can just start doing what's important. So the number one thing you need to understand is you need to be making videos for your ICP. And it sounds really, really simple. And it sounds kind of dumb when you think about it. But a lot of business owners that I've seen uh, on YouTube, they almost try to attract people that are way too broad. And I've made this same mistake uh, with my own channel, Money Maxing. So I made these videos and they went viral, whatever, 97K views, 200K views, 46K views. But these videos are super dopamine charged, just constant stimuli videos that attract every other single niche on the planet except the niche that I'm targeting or not niche but ICP that I'm targeting which is you know business owners that want to book more high ticket leads with YouTube so essentially these videos got a ton of views for sure but they were so counterproductive simply for the fact that it took hours of my time to make these videos to make the thumbnails to make the titles to script the video to edit the video everything when in turn it doesn't book me calls and it doesn't you know it doesn't close me sales so you can get away with videos that are just cut and dry simply unfiltered if you are a really good teacher and you're actually focusing towards the content that actually motivates your icp to to watch the video the whole way through and give you give a comment and subscribe and like etc so the number one thing that you need to understand if you want to start turning views into leads is figuring out like exactly who your ICP is and what kind of content they would be watching. So this is our system here for money maxing the channel. And we have something called the sales copy blueprint. And I have, well, me and my team have just filled this out to the brim. And this details exactly who my ICP is. You know, how does, okay, let's see. We go here. What's the problem? What do they, what do they think the problem is? Terrible packaging, scripts, video editing, idea generation. They can't grow on YouTube. Channel is dead. No views. They aren't making any money because no views. What actually is the problem? They don't know how to provide value to the right people. That's exactly what I'm talking about right now. They don't know how to package and deliver the content that sells. Exactly what I'm talking about right now. They don't have a video creation process that takes little to no time. Exactly what I'm talking about right now. They don't know how to use the algorithm to their advantage. It's what I'm talking about right now. So I'm making content specifically towards my ICP. I'm not making content for vloggers, education. Uh, I'm not making, <laughs> I'm not making content for vloggers, gaming channels, etc. I'm making content for educational channels, people with a high ticket service, people with a business, etc. So figure out exactly who your ICP is. And I'm sure you have some sort of ICP sheet somewhere and just base your content around that. And you literally can click on the video right now because that's all the information you need. But if you want to really take little to no time making these videos, then you need a content system that is extremely efficient. So this is our content system for my channel. And essentially we have literally everything that you would need to have a calendar for the month with all the content that you're going to be making. So essentially you want to make something that holds video ideas. So what do you need for this, right? You need the big idea, the vision for your video, potential titles, right? I have one, two, three, four, five, I'm bad at counting, five, five potential titles for this video. You need summarized talking points. You need a place to put all your thumbnails. So these are my thumbnails for this video. You need a place to put your store, your hooks, your, uh, your bodies of teaching, etc. your calls to action. Dude, if you have like Google Docs open, Discord open, freaking Notion open on one tab, you have Miro on the other tab, you have all these things just scattered everywhere. It's, it's literally just ruining your brain. I mean, if you've ever watched Sam Ovens, I'd highly recommend you watch Sam Ovens if you haven't. 
you probably you there's a, like a 99.9% .9 chance you've already watched Sam Ovens, but he talks about this death by a thousand cuts. You're doing way too many things. You're having your brain scattered everywhere. If you are a business owner, then you obviously need to put all your brain power into making the product better. You don't need to be thinking about a thousand different things uh, when making content. You need everything in one specific place or you are literally just going to be spread thin. And no one wants to be spread thin. I've been spread thin and it, it sucks. You don't want to do that. So number one thing is, first of all, figure out your ICP and make content specifically geared towards them. But number two is you need to have a system. You need to have a system that stores everything in one place because it's just going to save you so much fucking time. You can tell your team to add comments, etc. in one easy to use space. It, it just works so well. So please like do yourself a favor before you go bald. There's nothing wrong with the bald people, by the way, I'm probably going to go bald too. My, my genetics are, you know, geared towards going bald in your thirties. But before you go bald, put all your shit in one space. Trust me, trust me on this. And last but not least is obviously, you know, how to find content that resonates with your ideal client profile, which I already kind of talked about, but there is a secret that I've been kind of keeping away from you, and I will tell you this right now. Study the fuck out of your competitors, straight up. And I'll show you an example real quick. But before that, I'm gonna show you a community post that I made. So I said, study your competitors meticulously and just do better than them. You will win 10 times out of 10. And I have a story to tell you about this channel. So at the time I made about 10 videos that did not do well at all. I literally got like no views. I think I got like a hundred views each, but even then they were like fucking 50 of them were probably me just checking the video to see how many views it got. But I was just failing and I didn't know what I was doing wrong. But here's the thing, right? I was studying my competitors. So at the time, uh, the number one guy on YouTube was Nate Wealth. And I wouldn't say number one, but he was, he was just popping off at this point. Uh, shout out to Nate Wealth, by the way. So if you're watching this man, you know, I like your, I like your content, but this video right here did really, really well. How to make passive income on YouTube. And trust me that you're going to learn something from this. And I studied this video a lot and I wondered what made it so good. But I realized I couldn't compete with him because the quality was just so good. So I had to stand out. So essentially, I just took this video, took the thumbnail style, and just slapped a green frog on it. And that was the birth of money maxing. That was the, literally like the birth of the brand. And keep in mind, I'm, I'm a faceless channel. Like no one really knows my face except my team, essentially, and like a few other guys that I talk about on YouTube. But it, it, it was this simple direction, this simple little change in the script that just made all the difference and you know fast forward 10 months ago 97k views obviously this isn't geared towards my icp but you, you get the point you need to be studying your competitors and what you can do is have a system that has all your competitors for you so let me show you this you need and i'm not going to show you my competitors on uh on my system because because no but you need people that you're competing with so for example, Amon Ara Arab, hopefully I'm saying that right. Mihir Narula, hopefully I'm saying that right. Greg Miroslaw, hopefully I'm saying that right. These are all my competitors and I'm studying them meticulously. And if you guys are watching this video, which you know more than likely you're probably studying me, um, hey, how are you doing? <laughs> but I'm studying these videos and I'm seeing exactly like what they're doing wrong, what they're doing right, and how can I one up them and how can I make content better than them or how can I position myself to do slightly better in this aspect and it's just a lot of the work is simply just seeing what works with other people and seeing how to just do better than them or how to do something different than them so if you want to make content that your ICP would genuinely love to make literally just study your competitors and just to end off the video if you are a complete newbie to YouTube, you're a guy that's made a shitload of money uh, and you don't know where to start to get you more leads, and trust me, they are out there, and I would really just start with search-based videos. And I, I wrote here in my system right here, you know, how, the best type of videos to make. But honestly, like searchable how-to videos are the best pieces of media to create if you're starting out because the YouTube algorithm
probably is not going to give you a chance when you start out. You need to make search-based content. People are going to search you up, see that you got like zero subscribers, but then someone might give you the, the, the chance of day and watch your video and hey, they subscribe and then they comment and then they become a fan of your stuff. And then it's a snowball effect because they're going to tell their other friends about your channel and how this guy is super cool and how's, how this guy's unfiltered and he's just... He's just awesome in all these sort of ways. And then it just snowballs into you getting a thousand plus subscribers, you building an authority and you generating more leads to your business simply because you're making searchable how-to videos, problem solving videos. A really good example of a searchable how-to video is something like this, free 1.9 YouTube hour, YouTube growth masterclass. And again, I'm going to bring this video back and this, this did mega well for me one month ago and this is just constantly booking me leads. But the, the way I found this video idea was by studying adjacent competitors in, my, in a, an adjacent niche. So Tom Stoic, he's in copywriting. He's not in YouTube growth at all. But this guy is still in the business niche and I'm technically in the business niche. So I'm studying this guy because he is somewhat my competitor. He made a video called Free 2.5 Hour Copywriting Masterclass 2024, and this is the video that blew up his channel. And he has 263,000 views on this video. So, what did I do? I took the title Free, whatever, whatever, Hour YouTube Growth Masterclass, searchable video. It's just a free YouTube course. If you, if you search up free YouTube course, you'll probably find my stuff. But I just made it different and I made it resonate with my brand. So, obviously, Pepe, free course, YouTube in the background. And then just to make it weird, because you know, my I guess my brand is like a little strange, a little weird. It, free 1.9 hour YouTube growth masterclass, which is kind of like a, a, a spin on words. So again, you know, shout out to Tom Stoic, but also be studying, study your freaking adjacent competitors because they have good shit. But yeah, if you're just starting out, make searchable how-to videos. They're gonna do really, really fucking well, and they're gonna constantly get you views. And it, it's crazy because. If you get a video, which you probably will, if you just stick with this YouTube thing, because trust me, it's, it's, it's fucking worth it for your business, you're going to get constant views every hour of every day. And like 2,000 views in the last 48 hours is crazy, right? This video got 596,000 impressions. That's 596,000 potential leads. Obviously, like not all of these are going to convert, but you get what I mean. Like the, YouTube is so OP because it's it's not you're not oh, man. It's just crazy. It, I can't like I'm speechless just kind of talking about this. But dude, YouTube is OP because you just do all the work at once. Find a video that does really good. Get a searchable how-to based video, and now you're booking clients every single day of the week. So how-to videos really really good. Case study videos also super well. So let's just say you have. A business in like SMA, right? And you've made someone a hundred thousand dollars. You can just hop on a call with this person and get them to talk about their experience for an hour, completely unfiltered. You could probably go on Premiere Pro and just like get rid of the the pauses with like one fucking click of the button. And that's exactly what I do with my videos, by the way. Get rid of the pauses and boom, you got a case study video. That is a hyper nurturing piece of content that will get people to realize that like, yo, this guy is fucking good. Let me get a call with him and see if he can help me solve my SMMA problems, for example, right? I will probably be making case study videos in the future too. 100% I'm gonna be making case study videos because there's gonna be some crazy stuff going on here. But look, you need case study videos. That's just such a good piece of content. And even if you're starting out, if you have like 30 subs, for example, if you upload a case study video, it's there forever. It's it's an, essentially an anchor video. So even though it doesn't get views at the start, if you get a, a video that blows up, for example, let's just say it gets 40K views, then those 40,000 people can be funneled directly to that video. As you can see here, I go to my um, you know, free YouTube course video here. Right underneath the video, I have a video called sign five, well, I have this text going saying, sign five to 15 high ticket clients using YouTube. And then the video is video how to find video ideas that generate high ticket leads. And this is a 33 minute video. And then underneath this is a link that potential clients would click, etc. So. YouTube is so OP because you can just funnel people from video to video to video to video, get them to watch 
get them nurtured and start making a shit ton more money in your business rather than just going cold and just doing outbound and all this crazy stuff okay and last but not least is unique mechanism videos so these are typically interesting because i feel like they are i wouldn't say high risk but they have a chance of not getting views because these are like home page videos and for example people are going to be finding this in the home page they're not searching for it so it's it's you're really just relying on the youtube algorithm to just give you impressions but what I mean by unique mechanism videos is videos that have essentially just something super unique that people haven't seen before. So one really good uh, video for this is find hidden gold mines that make you money. And you can just search this video up. It's, it's fucking insane. Like I've never seen this in my life before. Even the thumbnail was just insanity. And obviously it did really well for 2k views, 20k subscribers. This is a key or this is a prime example of a unique mechanism video. And then here, a channel called sell your service super awesome guy by the way make fifty thousand dollars in 30 days and he talks about a unique mechanism that he has used for go high level to make fifty thousand dollars in 30 days by the way would highly recommend watching this video just search it up and you'll find it like literally make 50k in 30 days you'll find it so shout out to sell your service he's a super cool guy awesome guy anyways that is literally all i have to say i i, I don't want to take more of your time uh just do this so just to recap Find yourself a system that has everything in place for you. Stop scattering your brain everywhere. Trust me, it's fucking worth it. And number two, make search-based videos for your ICP. And number three, study your competitors. Number four, case studies. Honestly, that's all. Have a good day, and I will see you on Monday. Peace.